Hey guys, what's up? It's Callie. Welcome back to another vlog. I decided I wanted to vlog today based on what I am doing. So I want you to just come along with me and we're going to talk about food, being in a funk, um, grocery hauls, all that good stuff. Uh, it is Monday and uh, I just made my grocery list. We need a lot. We did not go last week, so I have a lot that I need to get. Just going to the typical regular grocery store, um, not Trader Joe's today. So let's get it. All right, so I just got back from Giant and they had everything I wanted, I think, actually. So that's good. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I got. We really needed so much stuff. So I got LaCroix because I'm really trying to cut back. I think I've said this in another vlog. I've just been doing horrible with it. Like just being 100% honest, like I love Fountain Coke and like I stopped drinking soda for so long when I was like being super, super healthy and I don't know how I got back on it, but really trying to cut back. So carbonation, I got this Southwest chopped salad just because sometimes that's easy for lunch. Sharp cheddar and Swiss cheese. We got new peanut butter. I'm so upset the whips like do not exist anymore. Um, I should probably have a healthier peanut butter or whatever. We eat these all the time. Ketchup. I couldn't find the Primal Kitchen ketchup today. Um, love these so much. Couscous. I'm gonna make chili, even though it's like 70 degrees this week, but it's just easy, especially when I have to go to class at night. Taco seasoning, broccoli. So for the chili, I have the diced tomatoes, the kidney beans, but I got two of each just so when I make it another time. Tuna, some salsa, raspberries, blueberries. Got some chips or what the hell are these called? Why can't I think of what these are called? Tortilla chips, my God. Um, spring mix, ground turkey, we eat that a lot. Cucumber, sour cream, honey for mainly my matcha lattes, but um, whatever. I always run out and then don't have enough. Romaine, some almond milk, honey crisp apples, they're the goat of apples, and then avocados, I probably need more bananas. I think that's it. Yeah. But I'm gonna put this stuff away. However, when I get back from my class, I will be purging things that we have that are either tempting, that we literally don't touch, that are expired, all that stuff that we don't need to have in our fridge or our cupboard. So we're gonna have like a whole little food reset. This is a food reset video, I guess you'd say. I don't know. Anyway, put this stuff away for now and then I'll show you after. I forgot zucchini, which is the vegetable we eat the most. I'm irritated. All right, so let's take a look inside the fridge. I'm a little embarrassed. Um, so, lovely pizza. Our friends were here and they like wanted us to keep some of the pizza the other day, so that will be going in the trash. Basically, I'm just gonna get rid of a lot of things like this needs to go, like half open salsas that like we never really use. Like unfortunately this stuff like can't stand up, but uh, I might find a new home for them. And yeah, just getting rid of some things that are maybe like expired over here. But overall, like I think we keep it pretty clean. Um, I just wanna get rid of some stuff that serves no purpose in here. So I know the fridge is gonna beep at me because it's been open, but sorry for that music, it's Survivor in the background. So this is what we have right now. Obviously it's not, shut up. It's not beautiful and amazing. Fruits and stuff, well, I like to keep like the meats here. Pasta, avocado, I mean honestly, we don't, don't have a lot because we just have a lot of produce in here. Both sides, sorry that's so loud. Some dairy things up here. Um, whipped cream cheese, yogurt, eggs. All of our condiments, pickles, I keep my almond milk out. Oh my God, it's so annoying. Sauces, our water, OJ. And that is it. I feel better about that. I feel a lot better about that. All right, it is another day. I did not finish filming. It just got too dark and I didn't do the cabinet. So here is the cabinet before. 
I would love to do like a after scenario or like a, but yeah. So basically my goal is to get rid of anything in here that's either like expired that we don't use or that is like tempting that we really just don't really need to be eating and it's been in there too long. <sighs> Wish me luck. Okay, minus the tempting M&Ms that literally are sticking out. Um, we're done, so I really didn't have to do much up here. Um, this is where I just have like little soups. Will likes to eat soup. And um, we keep all our breads in here. We are limited on cabinet space, so I keep like a lot of spices in here. Um, nut butters, situations. So this is just kind of like our chippy stuff crackers tuna this is kind of like i guess the snack bad snacks not really honestly there's m&ms and like birthday cake popcorn but this is like all the nuts and granola down here we have like the pasta we have oats pancake mix this is just kind of extra stuff oh cookies we had to keep those because i literally just bought them today little extra thing of craft mac and cheese because you know you always need that Liquid IV, we love. Um, and then down here is more of like a drink scenario. So I keep my LaCroix, my tea, extra oats, and um, that liquid IV that wouldn't fit up here. And my almond milk, that is all extra stuff. But I already feel better about that because we were having issues just like shutting it. And then obviously some boxes that I'll be recycling from stuff that was in there. But yeah, I know it doesn't look that drastic, but it feels different to me, so. And what I wanted to do was just a little, um, sorry, I have to hold my camera, but I wanted to make sure I was in the viewfinder. I wanted to just do like a whole little chat, I guess, with you about why I want to, or why I wanted to like clean that stuff out. But mainly it's just because, essentially I've been feeling in my energy levels what I've been eating, which is not good. So basically I've just been really lax with like, getting drive through stuff or getting like to go food or order it when i say that i mean just like ordering way too much uber eats spending too much money on uber eats just because like you spend the extra delivery fee and then you spend the tip fee and then you spend the service fee and then you know you're ending up spending like 25 dollars for like one meal that would typically cost you like nine dollars or something you know so basically i just want to reset i want to keep it real with you guys i feel like a lot of people i'm sure i've talked about this on a vlog before i feel like a lot of people think that i like eat perfectly because i'm in fitness and that's just like so far from the truth uh, i used to eat really clean when i was like on my fitness journey like getting in shape and all this stuff and not and once you're in shape it's kind of different and especially with a job like mine where you work out so much i feel like i can get away with a little bit more. I mean, that's just like me being like totally honest. Like I can, like if I finish class and I wanna eat a cheeseburger and fries, I can do that because you know, but should I want to do that? Probably not. So I just need to start limiting that. And that's why it was really important for me to like clean out the fridge and clean out the cabinet. And now everything's restocked with fresh food from the grocery store or Trader Joe's. And yeah, we are, getting it will and i basically are committed that like at least monday through thursday we are like eating in our meals and they're healthy meals um and then you know kind of like friday night through the weekend we do whatever the hell we want and feel because i think it's really important to like eat intuitively and i do think it's important to give into your cravings as long as it's not like all the time and that's why like having cookies in there or having m ms in there like i never ever deprive myself because i did that for a really long time and i just don't think that that's like a good um practice with food i don't think it's a healthy relationship with food at all so yeah if you guys have any questions about that let me know if you haven't followed me on instagram head over there it's at cali house underscore if you haven't checked out my blog do that if you don't follow me on tiktok it's a fun time and yeah if you aren't following or if you aren't subscribed here do it because i checked my analytics recently i shared this on my instagram story today and the amount of people the percentage of people who watch my videos but aren't subscribed 
it's astronomical. It's like 70%. So anybody who's just like watching and creeping what I'm doing, but like don't want to support, I see you, but like I don't see you, you know? So anyways, yes. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.